So in this part of the lesson, we're going to look at creating a tile map. So we're going to go straight into this. So I've got an empty scene here. So we just go scene, new scene here. Um, and that's just in case you've got your projects opening. And we do need a new scene to create our tile map in. And then let's go to this plus button. And we're just going to create the node 2D. And then we're just going to call it tile map ground. Now, the idea of the tile map is that you put all your tiles in and you can just quickly create your maps um, afterwards. So it does take a little bit of time. It can get a little bit frustrating, but it will save you a lot of time later, which is the, the idea with this. You may also need multiple tile maps for your project. So I'm just going to create one, um, and this is just going to be for all the grounds that we need. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is create another node um, called a sprite. Um, and this is going to hold our first image. Okay, so there's our sprite. So once we've got our sprite, we can then populate it with um, a tile. So you've got a few ways you can do this. I'm going to try and give you the easiest way here. So if we come into our assets and come down to our tiles, they've already been um, done for us. You do have one near the bottom. And if you were thinking about the performance of your game, you wouldn't you would do it with the one at the bottom, really, which is this one here, and you break it all up. But to keep this very, very simple, I'm just going to use these predefined um, slices already. OK, so the first one I'm going to do is going to be the grass. So let me go and find the grass texture, which is up here in the middle. So we have this left one, we have this middle one, and then we have this right one. So let's grab this bit of grass and put it onto the texture. And then I'm just going to say grass left. Nice and simple. So once we have our grass, that's great. Our player is going to need to land on that grass. So we're going to need to set up some collisions now. Um, if we don't set up the collisions, it won't be able to land on it and it won't work. So the first thing we need to do with this grass selected, we then need to come to the node. And the node that we need to create is the static body 2D. So static body 2D. Now you're going to notice that it goes underneath in this kind of direction. Here. So if I close this grass left, it will close it as well. And this is absolutely great. So the next thing we need to do is we're getting a warning here that says, look, we need to add a um, collision shape 2D. So now with this static body selected, let's have another node called collision. And the one we want is the collision shape 2D. Collision shape 2D, there it is. And we're still getting a warning here that says we need a shape attached to it. So if we come down here, the shape that we want is just going to be a rectangle, nice and simple. If I just zoom into this. So let's come into here and let's get this rectangle. And this is what's going to kind of help our collisions. Now, at this point, you have to be really, really careful. These dots around the outside, do not touch them. If you if you adjust these, if you pull it outwards from these outside dots, it will break, it won't work, and everything will go wrong. To create collisions, it's these two on the inside that you have to pull out, okay? So just be very, very careful. If you pull these outsides, you will have to recreate all of this, and it can be really time consuming. So I'm going to grab the inside dot, and I'm going to grab it to the border of my rectangle. Now we're going to use the same collision for all shapes. So we do need to get this really perfect, okay? So let's just pull it right out and get it as close to that edge as humanly possible. I'm going to zoom in just so I get it really good and right. There we go, that's perfect. Now, the next thing I want to do is select this button here and then just lock it into place. Now, the one we want to lock it in place is this button here, okay? And what this does is it means that if I move something, it will move everything together. It won't just move one of these bottom ones. So we click on that and then we can collapse it and we have our first um, tile all set up now. Now, that took a little bit of time to do. So what we can now do is there is a duplicate button. Control D um, is duplicate. You can also come down to the menu by right clicking like I just did there. But with it selected, if you press Control D, it will create it again. So the next bit of grass we want is the grass middle. So let's come into here and let's go to the grass middle and let's just move this over. So we've done that. You can't actually see it at the moment because they've actually sat on top of each other. So if we just move it over 
you can see that we now have two tiles all set up. So let's create the next tile, and it's, it's quite repetitive from here on out, but Control D will save you a little bit of time. And then we're gonna say grass right on this one. Now, let's just do this one, then I'll pause the video, and then you guys can get all yours in, and I'll, and I'll show you where I get to in a second, just to save a bit of, bit of time. So grass right is this one here. So drag that into the dot, make sure it's all selected, and then we can move over. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna have these three grass ones, I'm gonna have a bit of water, and I'm gonna have maybe a stone one as well. So let me see if I can just pause this video and then I'll come back in a second and we can reconvene and see how we get on. So I've just created a few of the ones that I need and I, I mean I could keep going on like this for ages so I've got free grass, got a couple of water and a bit of stone um, and this will create quite a bit of the stuff that I need so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to come back to this one here and I'm just going to save my scene so save scene and I want to call it tile map ground like we did before that's what we called it up there so then press save um, now, what we need to do is convert this to a tile map. So if we come into the scenes, and then we go convert to, and then it's gonna be a tile set, okay? So click on the tile set, and we're gonna call it the same as our um, tile map. So let's call it tile, tile set ground or something like that. Okay, so tile set ground, so we can just save that. Oh, we've got to give it a valid extension. So the extension that we need is dot T R E S. Okay, and then press save. Now we've done that, let's click on the res button. So we come back to here and you'll notice that we have our tile set and we have our tile map. Now, once we've created this, you can't actually come back into here and edit it very easily. Um, but what I would do is create another tile map and then have another tile set. Um, so let's move forward. Let's go to level one now and let's put this map in and you guys can start building out level one, two, three, and four with all your tile sets and maps. So we're going to open up level one and we're going to do two things. The first thing I'm going to add a background. So I'm going to click on this plus button again and I'm going to come to the sprite and I'm just going to add a background. Now if I come into here and I go down to... Um, there it is, background, that's my first background that I want. And then drag that into the textures. Now I just want to make that really, really big. It's not actually going to matter because my, my map is going to be miles bigger than my actual viewpoint here. So don't worry too much, it's going to be a lot bigger and I can stretch this out. I'm just going to rename it background. And then we're good to go there. So the next thing, if I click back on this level one, we now need to add our tile set. So come back to res, and here's our tile set. So we just need a node to add that to. So click on this button here, and the node is tile set, or tile map, there it is. So double click on the tile map, and we can just call this tile map one or tile map ground. It's completely up to you. Um, because if we end up having lots of different tile maps, you're gonna wanna make sure they're all called something different. Okay, so now we've got that, we now need to just drop our tile set onto here. So let's grab tile set ground and let's just drag it onto here. And now we're ready to go. So all of our tile maps and all those collisions that we created are already there. Now the good thing about this is we can just kind of like draw. So we select the one we want. So at the moment I'm gonna click on this one and then I'm gonna click on this one and then I'm gonna draw. I'm just clicking and dragging as long as I want. Now, if I decide that I don't want that, I can click on my right mouse and go backwards, and I can get rid of anything I don't want just by clicking on the right mouse. Now, let's click on this one and just add that one to there. Um, then what we can do is add another one to the top here. So we can have a little jumping bit if we want to. And then let's add that center in again. Keep drawing it out, fantastic. And do this one here. Um, and that's great. And we can keep doing that. We keep building out. Let's put a bit of water underneath it as well. So let's grab some water, and we can say, right, if you if you drop into here, you're going to be in the water or whatever. It looks like we might need some more water as well, but it doesn't matter. Let's just drag it from there. There we go. If you drop into that bit, it's going to be the water. And we can block this out just by using this one as well. And this is what's really clever about tile sets is we can very very quickly just 
compose something that we want um, and it looks great actually now just one more note actually is that you're probably going to see that it's actually not aligning to the grid very well and it's something that we do need to quickly discuss and that is up here we have our snap to grid options and configure snapping now my configure snapping or grid steps is 70 pixels so I just close that close that and show it one more time so I click on these three little buttons make sure snap to grid is on and then configure snap and make sure it's set to 70 pixels okay um, and if, if you've used a different tile set than mine it might be slightly different but over in our tile map settings so if we just click on the tile map you can come down and there's a closed box here called cell and at the moment those cell size are set to um, 64 which is throwing all of this out so if we just change that to 70 as well um, that will quickly fix that little issue of everything kind of going over and then once you set that press enter and you'll notice that everything snaps into place so when you zoom in now you'll notice we don't have these horrible little lines if I go back to that 64 which is what it was and you'll notice you had those horrible little lines that kind of nothing actually matched up and it was going to cause you a few little issues so just change that to 70 or whatever your project is or whatever your images are press enter and you'll notice that so we just got one more thing to do and that's just to run our scene and make sure everything works so let's save our levels so save all scenes and remember to save all scenes before you close your project otherwise you will lose everything and let's press play now it's going to say look you haven't selected um, a scene to run for the first time so the one we want to use is level one which is this one here double click and that's it it's done let's just see what this looks like obviously nothing works at the moment but it should run and it should give us a very nice scene and already you can see that we're creating quite a nice little um a nice little level okay so i'm going to leave that there your mission is to complete all four levels and really just kind of go to work and you can have height and you can have depth and you can go underground and you can pretty much do whatever you want make it as interesting as you like and feel free to use as much of this space as you like Okay, and then before you go, just make sure you save all scenes.